Welcome to episode 217 of Clarity Compressed. Are we there? 217? I don't know. But today, I'm here in a fully outfitted new space that has taken me, if you've been following along, more than two and a half years to get into my family, our companies. We have worked, our contractors, our designers, we have worked tirelessly to get in this space. And we're here. People come to work every day now. And there's something good about being together. But the real topic of what I want to talk about today is a little something called movement. (laughs) Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. A concept we've been talking about this week internally and here in the Automotive State of the Union team is this concept of movement. Movement, keeping moving forward or just keeping going, right? You got to stay moving. You got to stay limber. And the reason is this, is that because if you stop moving, you actually start losing. Because um, there's a principle in warfare, right, in kind of urban combat or combat in general. And it's this. It's movement is life. And when you see, you know, you hear our friend Chaco talk about the principles of cover and move, right? You've seen this in movies if you watch, you know, uh, military-based movies or tactical movies. You see two two-man team, right? And usually one guy's firing, boom, 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 while the other guy's moving. And then that guy who's moving finds a better spot to be. He pulls up, starts firing on the enemy, and the guy who was firing now picks up and he starts moving to a better location and as you cover and move you you know the goal is to get to a better position constantly and advance on the enemy well the same thing is true in business and life if you stop moving if you just sit down you hunker down because maybe the times are uncertain or maybe you don't know what's going on or maybe you're unsure of what you should do next what happens is maybe you feel a little safer in the moment because movement is definitely scary But here's the thing, all of the other things around you don't stop moving. They keep moving. Your competitors, they keep moving. The market, it keeps moving. Your family, they keep moving. And I'm not talking about physically from one location to the next, but sometimes it's in innovation. When I I say your family keeps moving, I don't mean they're leaving you. What I mean is they are growing. They are having different experiences in life. If you have kids, you realize how fast they grow up. This morning, I just had a birthday breakfast with my daughter who is now 13. I have a teenage daughter for the first time in my life. And I was reminded that they don't stop. They keep going. And 13 years went by like that. And I'm already looking at my 13-year-old daughter saying like, oh my gosh, like you're growing up, oh my gosh, pretty soon you're going to be probably out of my house, right? Before I know it, you're going to be in college. Before I know it, you're probably going to be in a relationship. And before you know it, I'm going to have grandkids. I know, I know, Paul, slow down a little bit. But I say that because life moves so fast and there's probably not many of us that can't look at our life right now and say like, how did we get here so fast, right? How did I get to be 43? What is up with that? All of a sudden, I'm hiring people that I legit could be their dad. And I'm not even talking like an ambitious dad, like I was a teenager. No, I'm talking about like I could have had you in my 20s. And now you're this big and applying for a job here and working because you have a college degree, right? There's, there's a moment of levity that comes with that. But thinking of the principles of movement, we personally have to keep moving and growing or else we're going to constantly fall behind and die in business. The environment has never been, it has never been more aggressively moving in my career, in my life, than it has been right now. The velocity of change is extensive. The velocity of change is across every spectrum, financial world, social unrest, political world, innovation and technology, finance and currency. The velocity is faster than it's ever been before. So that means if I stop moving, if I stop growing, if I stop thinking and innovating and trying to improve and trying new things and swing the bat, if I stop doing that, guess what? All of that other stuff just keeps moving and gets further and gets further and further and further away from me. This is even true in my marriage. Like right now, my wife and I, we've been married for 20 years. We're about to celebrate our 20 year anniversary. Another one of those moments where I'm like, I've been married for 20 years? 
when I, when I tell people, they're like, wow, to me, it just seems like a flash, but it's been 20 years. But in our marriage, I've realized very, very acutely, actually in the last months, if we don't keep working on our marriage, if we don't keep moving forward in our marriage, guess what? Life can pass us by and it actually having a healthy marriage and healthy relationship gets further and further and further away from us. Guess what? Being married for 20 years doesn't fix, it doesn't um, relieve us of the obligation and the need to keep moving in our marriage. There are new mountains to climb. There are new things to learn about each other. If you can even believe that after 20 years, I realize there's so many things to learn about my wife that I don't know. And so I'm trying to be a student of her in this season of my life, which is a new concept for me because I move, because I move so fast, often I can forget to pay attention to the things closest to me. Right, so movement has pros, movement has cons. I'm talking about all the pros, like all the let's rah, 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 let's move, let's move forward, let's progress, let's do things. But you also have to remember to bring everything with you because if you move too fast, you can also fly by the things that are most important. So that gets us to the point of prioritization. You can't just move for movement's sake. A lot of questions came in when I started talking about this week. Well, is there a difference between like, like moving intentionally, moving with intentionality and just moving? Because in a lot of industries and life and relationships, if you just move to move, in that case, you know, it's not going to end up well for you. If you just make decisions to spend money, make decisions to start relationships or go deeper in relationships, guess what? That is not going to work out too well for you, which is why developing your values, developing your instincts and experience, all of those things help you move in a good way. Back to our military example, if you don't have any military experience, combat training, any of that, and you just were like, well, Paul said movement's good, and you pick up, and you just run out in the middle of the field, and you start like just moving, guess what? You're done. You're going to get picked off. And so not movement for movement's sake, but to move with intentionality requires patience. It requires um, being very studious. It requires paying attention. It requires making mistakes and learning from them. It requires mentors and learning from other people because you can't just move for movement's sake. You have to move with intention. So as I think about movement this week, as you and I think about movement this week, I want to encourage you to move. Number one, don't sit still. You know, and I, again, take everything I say with a grain of salt because don't sit still doesn't mean don't ever sit still. Sometimes we need to sit still so we can move better and more efficiently, more effectively. But in general, I think we should be moving. In general, I'm encouraging you to move with me. But you can only do that if you have the right perspective. You can only do that if you have the clarity on which way to go. Sometimes you won't have complete clarity. Actually, most times you won't have complete clarity. But move with the clarity you have. Pursue clarity and perspective in the areas you don't. And by all means, don't sit still. By all means, don't give up. Don't give up on your relationships. Don't give up on your business ideas. Don't give up on your dreams and your goals and your aspirations. Don't give up on the talents that you have that you know you need to share and develop. Don't do that. But lean in with me this week. I'm with you. You're with me. We're moving together. And again, it's always better to move together. Cover and move. You cover me. I'll cover you. And I'll see you next week. We came to fight.